want to show you a simple workflow in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll be looking at a purchasing workflow. You're going to have two approvers and we'll walk through the process. So let's take a look at it. I'm logged in as Alan and I'm going to create a new purchase order. Here's my purchase order. It's ready to go. If I try to release it or post it, I'll get an error message saying that it has to go through an approval process. To initiate the approval process, I'm going to go up to Request Approval and send the approval request. You can see that the status on the purchase order is now pending approval. On my approval chain, which we'll look at later, I've got two people. The first one is Alicia. Alicia is set up to receive notifications about workflow approvals through email. Here's her email right here. I can click on the link. This will open up Business Central for her and she can see the PO right when she opens it up. She can review the PO here. If she's good with it, she can go ahead and approve the purchase order. Go to approve and approve. Now the purchase order is still showing pending approval because there's one other approver that needs to approve this and his name's David. He's going to approve it on a mobile device. At this point, David can log into his mobile device and log into Business Central. You can see on his mobile app that he's got one request for approval. He can click on that. He can click on the document here. Then if he wants to, he can look at the document, open up the record. Here's the entire document here. He can scroll down and see the lines. See, I've got two chairs I'm buying, 40 a piece. The total is $12,000. To approve it, it's fairly easy to do. Go down here, hit approve, and the approval's been made. And that's the end of the approval process. Now that PO can be received and invoiced. Once it's invoiced, we can always go back and look at the approvals. Here's the posted invoice. I'm going to look at the approvals here. And we can see who and when approved the PO. Let's take a look at some of the setup I did for this demonstration. I used these approval levels in the approval user setup. In my demonstration, Alan was the one that created the PO and then initiated the workflow. Alicia was the next person who approved that. And then it went to David Miller, who's also admin. As soon as he approved it, the PO had been fully approved and was ready to receive and invoice. For this demonstration, I used an out-of-the-box workflow template that comes with Business Central. Let's take a look at this first record here. These are the steps that are going to happen when a request for approval is initiated. Let's take a look at this one here. If I open this up, I can see that the approver type is an approver. It could also be a group. And the approver limits are coming from the approver chain that we just looked at. If I wanted it to go to immediately to the person that could approve it fully, I could also select first qualified approver. So this was a quick demonstration of the approval process for purchasing in Business Central. Alan created the purchase order and initiated the approval request. Alicia received a request for approval via email, and she acted on that by clicking on the link to Business Central. David received a request on his mobile device and was able to look at the purchase order and also make his approval.